हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल कोडिंग विद आनंद आई एम आनंद एंड आई इंट्रोड्यूस माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज़ बेसिकली ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन सिस्टम इट्स लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर एग्जामिनेशन सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आई हैव रन दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज़ द होम स्क्रीन ऑफ माई ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज़ बेसिकली डेवलप्ड इन जावा the spring boat technology is used here so you can see this is the project structure you can see and uh, i am using mysql as a database so you can use uh, my database name is exam app you can use any uh, software that is basically used to handle the databases uh, like mysql workbench or zamp whatever you like uh, i am basically using both in order to handle the database so let's start uh, with the project so in this project i have introduced two types of login first one is the admin who is responsible for uh, uh, adding the questions and uh, generating the reports watching the report at and and uh, the user the uh, student or the candidate who is applying for the test is the person who will basically uh, apply and register for the exam and then he can take the examination so this is the whole story of this one so the examination contains uh, these kind of questions as you can see so i basically found this website ajurav dot uh, in so where i found uh, this kind of questions that uh, there is an image that belongs to which kind of thing so these are the you can see you can find out uh, such questions like this uh, this is the uh, question let's uh, save image as and uh, i am going to save this project uh, this image let's suppose on desktop and uh, let's create one new project mm, sorry new image and uh, save it <coughs> and uh, i am saving it as well so this kind of uh, uh, images will be used as a question let's see this is my admin if i am providing the invalid user id and password then it will say invalid user id and password and uh, let's start with the correct user id and password admin admin is the correct user id and password so this is the home screen and uh, you can see that i have added only four questions and uh, if any uh, user registered now will get only four questions okay so let's suppose i want to add a new questions so, or uh, there are these are the four questions that i have added uh, i think uh, okay good these are all new so uh, we have downloaded so let's add one question so uh, let's copy the question part and uh, paste it here let's upload an image so go to desktop and on my desktop uh, there is one image here is the this one fine so let's suppose the answer is c and let's add it so as you can see that uh, this question has been added let's try to add one more question and that belongs to the first one mm, paste the question let's the answer is b and let's save it so as you can see uh, one thing you can notice here that uh, the question number starts from 7 8 9 10 this is because uh, i have already tested this uh, project with six previous question that i deleted uh, last time i used some random images but uh, right now i am using the good images that will be used in the question in the proper way b c b c b c b uh, basically i am uh, giving these kind of answer uh, in order to remember what uh, how a student can be pass and how a student can be fail so that's why so these are the now uh, way this is the way how we add the questions inside the questions list so now if any student or candidate register himself then he will get six questions in it okay and these six questions will be randomly generated these questions will be randomly generated so let's uh, you can see the report if any student uh, registered himself without uh, going through the uh, examination 
then this kind of thing will be visible um, I will show you each and everything every scenario in my project let's see I'm logging out let's add a new person uh, Vijay Kumar age is 22 MBA student and uh, student or service it's student male and uh, let's say noida vijay at the rate gmail.com vijay and password let's just okay so let's suppose uh, i want to check whether it has been added to it okay admin admin so you can see that there are three registered user and in the report section you can see that these two are the student who has registered himself but didn't take the exam let's see now so let's see uh, if I'm talking about Vijay and he will log in then he will get this kind of screen these are the instruction they are simple and HTML page you can modify any uh, instruction uh, let's suppose he not agree so that means he will be logged out and uh, there will be no issues at all admin admin and you can see that uh, no clearance is there and if I'm going to the report section nothing is done because he hadn't accept the agreement but if he agree then at this stage now the timer has started okay and uh, let's suppose I uh, click on C click on next so one more thing I would like to say you that uh, on every question uh, you spent some time the time is also saved in this uh, uh, particular scenario let's see next you can see the back question as well uh, this is saved as well and uh, you can see the timer is continuously working and uh, you can update the questions if you want and one more thing that I want to say you that these questions are randomly generated as you can see okay so this is A this is C so let's suppose uh, due to some electricity uh, reason uh, there may be some X Y Z reason uh, we lost something and uh, localhost now what happens uh, let's try to do this PJ and agree now look we are in question number five fine and let's go to the previous one we have all the answers stored in it okay and uh, let's complete this one and uh, the timer is basically going on next and uh, let's this is the final one so finish button is enabled here and uh, let's finish it out so now exam submitted successfully now if the person try to log in okay you can say exam already submitted this is the main thing and let's see what happens to his exam you can see there are three registered user one cleared that means this is the previous one and that means he hasn't cleared the exam go to the report section and you can see he's failed because he hasn't cleared the exam what was the reason for his fail so you can see that there is only one question that he has cleared and one more thing you can see that on question number 9 he spent 9, 17 seconds on 10th question he spent 23 seconds like this so this is the main thing that you can see here that uh, how much time he has basically spent over a particular question has been stored here okay so this is how the everything is going on uh, so let's suppose uh, I try to uh, I, al uh, I also show you that I have previously created this one so it has only four questions as we have added the next questions uh, after uh, adding this after registration of this particular user and you can see the sequence always will be always be different admin admin 
he has cleared the exam she has cleared the exam let's see the report and you can see she has uh, completed these two questions right and 40 percent is the criteria that is basically used here so this is how we basically manage this uh, these all in uh, instructions the questions uh, let's suppose i add a few more questions then these questions will be uh, directed uh, directly added to the questions list okay so this is the way how we basically do all those stuff so uh, i am using mysql database as you can see and uh, exam app i think the database name is exam app fine as you can see that uh, i have exam this is uh, how images are stored basically so this is the random uh, name that is basically given to the images and these are the exams and uh, these are the users list and this is the questions list that is basically added to the database that uh, uh, which question is basically assigned to which user so one user will be able to register himself only at one time so uh, i will uh, i will also update this software in order to make it uh, so comfortable that uh, you will be able to uh, clear some with the help of chances so i will update and then i will show you one more project on this one so this will be improved but this uh, the this particular concept that i have introduced here will be changed because uh, uh, this is somewhat difficult for me uh, to because uh, not all the questions uh, not all the examinations uh, of such kind of thing so so this was my project and uh, as you can see that i am using spring boot all the uh, models and all other things this is completely spring jdbc based uh, project as you can see and uh, uh, if you uh, have any doubt on this project you can connect to me and uh, if you have similar type of project you are looking for you can connect to me and uh, I can give you the updated version of this project as well so if you like this project uh, you can connect to me I am sharing you my uh, uh, whatsapp number and uh, calling number on my description so you can mail me if you are looking for the source code and if you want to connect to me you can uh, connect me on my uh, contact number so if you like this project uh, just like this uh, project and uh, subscribe if you are the new user thank you very much uh, i will connect you again after with uh, with my new project thanks a lot thank you